to Season 3, Episode 2 of the Women of Rock Oral History Project podcast. You can watch the full video interviews on our YouTube channel, Vimeo channel, or on the website womenofrock.org. This episode features painter, musician, bass player, and all-around stellar human being, Jill Emery. Jill played bass in Hole, Mazzy Sar, and Superheroines, among others. She is a fantastic painter. One of her paintings is actually featured on the back of Hole's album, Pretty on the Inside. And you can check out her art, maybe even buy something, on her Etsy page. Enjoy the interview with Jill Emery. How often did you have to work other jobs to supplement your income? And was there ever a time when you just were able to make a living being in a band? I think with Hole, I just had like these odd jobs, you know, just making jewelry, whatever. And then after a while, I didn't work. But then in Mazzy Star, I didn't work for, you know, for I think a couple of years. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do want to talk about how did you join Mazzy Star? Um, what album, yeah, and like what album was that? Because were they big yet? It was 90. Yeah, I think Fade Into You had just probably come out, and I toured on that record, which was, um, oh my God, what was the name of the record? I know, I forget the name. Anyway, <laughs> it's okay. Everyone will know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a good record. Yeah. So, but. Okay, first of all, let me tell you the story. It all started in Boston, okay? So we were, Hole was in Boston playing the show. We slept at this girl's house who was wonderful. And she turned me on to Mazzy Star. I didn't know them. She's like, I'm like, dude, this is great. I love it. And so I go, can you make a tape so we can listen to it in the van? And, and it was, I think she hangs brightly record. It wasn't their other one. Um, so I just would play it over and over. And so after then all said and done, I was out of hole. I put out an ad in the recycler and I said, bassist looking to start a band. Um, okay, this is pretty funny. Uh, influences, Mary Unfaithful. Uh, yep, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Marianne Faithful, uh, Mazzy Star, and Black Sabbath. And like, Mazzy Star calls me, and I'm like, what? They're like, hey, you want to come down and, you know, jam a bit? And I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. And of course, they had a great studio. I mean, they, you know, David just, he was an archivist with instruments. I mean, he just had it, you know? And, uh, and I remember thinking, wow, this is, I can't believe I'm playing these songs that I love. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not great. I, I'm a slow learner, but once I get it, I'm on it, you know? So that was really cool. And and then they didn't hear back. And I remember Hope tells the story. Oh yeah, you you said, can I take off my shoes? And and I was like, I don't remember that. And, and she's like, and we all just laughed because they were very like quiet and, nothing you know it was opposite of whole but um so after that i didn't hear from them maybe for a couple of weeks and then they called me and said hey we're playing this show uh with red house painters and it was just a club and they're like you want to play them i'm like i don't think i know the songs that well and they're like just come and play i'm like okay but i'm gonna be staring at your hands to see chord changes you know and I played the show, and then from there on, you know, we, I went on tour with them for that record, and they paid me, you know, I was a hired musician, so I didn't get royalties, but like, you know, I didn't play on the record uh, for writing the songs. So then we toured, and it was great, and another musician, maybe you could uh, interview Bisuki, she was in Opal and Mousy Star. Mm -hmm. And she's nice. So her and I were rooming together at the time and we got, you know, to know each other. And she was very quiet. I'm like, what the hell? I'm in this room with this chick that's not talking. And I, you know, I can't stop talking. <laughs> so then we started like playing guitar and in the room and we did a Carpenter's song. And 
and we became friends and uh and then later i guess suki wasn't in the band and i can't remember why that happened and then i guess they got someone else to play guitar and we were on tour and, and then luckily they gave me my own room which was great because i i like being alone you know and so that kind of how that's how that all went and you know they were they were nice it, i mean there was you know there was obviously turbulence in that too but not with me i mean there was just stress like hope was very private and stressed and david was super private but you know nice people um she was great i mean we we became friends after a while and i tried to um we were going to write together and and i wrote a couple songs and she put the lyrics to them and sounded great and but we didn't have the musicians it was just me and her so she had a she flew us out to london and we stayed out there for about a month looking for musicians and it was a little up and down and then we i flew up to berkeley that's where she lived at the time um stayed at her house and looked for musicians there and you know and in la but it was it was hard and then we got musicians and it just we recorded maybe a little bit but you know cuz she was you know when you're the singer or songwriter you're you're good with money when you're selling records right you don't need to worry she had a beautiful home she was so kind and giving though she was very good to me um you don't have to you don't have deadlines of money you know and she was paying me but when time was off i had a mortgage i'm like dude i i can't wait around she's like oh i know and and so then after a while i just kind of walked and said i can't do this anymore i have to that's when i got my job at whole foods and and then they called me to go back up uh to record more after a while but it it just wasn't something wasn't clicking hmm. and as i left she was very kind to give me a few thousand dollars in good faith cuz she had already been paying me but you know she's just like what happened and i'm like i can't i have to be steady and i'm the type that's working a lot of times i had two bands my own band and these bands yeah. same while i was in whole i uh, i was in shadow project or my own band same with mazzy star i had my own band and i'm i'm a worker i work all the time i paint all the time you know mm -hmm. so that's just how it is